It's really bad, y'all. I hate it. What's going on, rock stars? It is your girl, the leader of the rock stars, Talia Jeanette. We are back with a very, very, very quick, very brief concealer update. Now, I know I did a video about last year or maybe it was 2019, of my favorite concealers. Now, I'm going to do an update of the concealers that are my go-tos and what I've been adoring and what I've been using. So, first up, let's just jump into it, is the Born This Way Concealer. Now, I love the fact that this applicator is as large as it is. I'm always here for a doe foot applicator on a concealer. This you can probably wear as an all over um, foundation if you must. I don't because my two the two shades that I brought are specifically for my contour and my highlighting so I can't. But the formula definitely it's blendable and wearable enough i'll give you guys a swatch this is in the shade ganache so this is i think this might be the darkest of their concealers but you can definitely blend that out i don't have a clean sponge but You see how that blends out and it definitely doesn't look as dark as it did going on, but you can definitely wear it all over. Next, what are we going to talk about? All right, now I know I've, I've said this multiple times. I am a person who, if I wear a foundation, I like to wear the corresponding concealer, especially if the product, like the line makes a concealer. You should try to wear consistency across the board. So these are my... It Cosmetics concealers. Now these are in a tube and I really don't, like I'm not a fan of that. So that means I either have to legit put this on my face or I have to put it on a brush, which I feel, you know, it kind of, not that it wastes product, but it just, you know, it takes a lot more time and effort versus something that has a doe foot applicator. That one, it blends out kind of iffy, um, but I feel like with the foundation from It Cosmetics, you don't need concealer. You don't need concealer unless like you're trying to do a highlight contour situation. But if you're using concealer to like really cover blemishes, that foundation from It Cosmetics, you won't need. Next up, what do we have, guys? We have... Y'all know, y'all already know the vibes with them. This Juvia's Place, their concealer is it too. I love it. Um, this also, Doe Foot Applicator, which we love and we stand for. Um, I have about three or four of these. So I use the shades 12 and 9. I'm lying, 12 and 6. And the other one I think is more closer to my skin tone is in the shade 4. Um, again, you know, most of us, we wear concealer solely for highlighting and contouring, not really, you know, to wear. But it's good. I would always say get the darkest to contour, the lightest to highlight, and then get one that is your actual shade. Because it's some days, you know, you just don't want to wear a foundation. And the concealer tends to be a little lighter. A little bit not not anything crazy it'll be a little lighter to wear where you could just put it on and blend it out and boom bam thank you man let's see what else do we have we have the color pop pretty fresh concealers now color pop also has I believe a regular concealer as well again I have the pretty fresh foundations so this is what I use when I wear that so I have the shades Deep Dark 220C and Medium Dark 145W. Um, I 
think I have one that's in my shade too, but I hate this applicator. This applicator is so flimsy. Like, do y'all see that? Like, what is that? Like, who? I don't know who in marketing okay this applicator, but they could have did way better. Um, other than the applicator being complete trash, the product is amazing. Um, yeah, I just got rotten with everything having a doe foot applicator. This applicator is garbage. <laughs> like, it's really bad, y'all. I hate it. Um, next up, what else am I going? I, guys, I have just so much concealer. It's ridiculous. Um, alright, y'all already know the vibes. I don't gotta really talk much about this Beauty Blender one. This doesn't necessarily have a doe foot applicator. It has a Beauty Blender applicator, which I thought was so freaking cute. Like, it's legit a whole Beauty Blender on the applicator. And it, it does the same. I feel actually less product is put on with that versus a doe foot applicator. So that is the one upside of that applicator. Next, we have... The Beauty Bakery Insta Bake 3 in 1 concealer. So, this is also another concealer where you can wear it as your foundation. This shade is in Karak Chai. So, all of their concealers are named after like foods type of stuff. Um, I do have about four of them. The other three are in my makeup bags. I never, un like, I didn't dump my makeup bag since I came back home. So, bear with me. But I do have the darkest which I think is fun intended and I have two that are like in between like one is my actual color and one is another conceal a uh, highlight color and then this one is a highlight color as well and then lastly my newest newest additions to the concealer collection is the NARS concealer so these are the travel sized ones I just couldn't see myself buying the full-size foundation and then buying the concealer and then hating the concealer so I was like I'm always down to get a mini version of something to try it to see if I'll like it like I hate people that they'll buy a product use it and then take it back like it's it's so wasteful just for the store and for the environment so I rather get a mini size of it and then that way you know you could kind of play around with it unless it's like your skin reacts badly we're talking like you're breaking out in hives type of gimmick. But I have the colors medium dark. That's the light one. The medium dark in number three in Amande. And the dark coffee in, yeah. So these, these blended out real nice. Like I was actually pretty shocked how nicely they blended out like I don't know what I was expecting really but it blended out really nicely um again you guys know my drill if you're not willing to pay arm and a leg for a concealer I think the cheapest concealer I showed you guys was the ColourPop one and the most expensive was probably the beauty blender one which is probably like in the mid 20s if you are looking for an affordable concealer when in doubt go to elf route um i haven't really been using my elf concealers a lot besides using them as eyeshadow primer so that's why i didn't show it in this video but if you're interested to see all of the concealers that i have prior to this video check out this right here this this link floating above you that was my initial concealer review so this is an update as well and again like you Guys, I, I try to tell you, I try to instill to my rock stars, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on makeup. You really don't. Like, you can get the most affordable things and still look flawless. But if you're like me and you like to, you know, treat yourself just a little bit, then why not splurge on a little concealer, right? <laughs> why the hell not? But that's it for this update video like i said it was going to be quick and to the point where we weren't going to dilly dally we're not dilly dallying in 2021 folks so that was it thank you guys and stay tuned for some more content coming in the next few weeks